Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you saw the title, you already know we're playing with some new ColourPop. Now, I wasn't expecting this collection, but I was really excited about a product that was in the collection, so I had to try it out. And, you know, I might as well get the eyeshadow palette and try out the pressed glitters which I've never seen from ColourPop. So I was really excited to try those out. There's the, of course, eyeshadow palette, and then there's also three lippy sticks. So that's what we use today. Now, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how this collection works and how I got this look using the collection, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, the eyes are primed and we're using the new ColourPop palette of Quartz. This eyeshadow palette, it speaks to my heartstrings. There's some neutral shades, there's some dark shades. These shimmers, you guys, they're beautiful. I'm excited to swatch them. But on top of this eyeshadow palette, there's also these new pressed glitters. Like, oh my goodness. I will swatch these for you guys along with the shimmer shades that are in this palette because I was so excited when I saw them and did I need another ColourPop eyeshadow palette or purchase another collection from them? No, but you guys, I I really, really, really wanted to try out the pressed glitters and there's three of them in this collection. Let's start out with the shimmers that are in this palette. Okay, so <laughs> these are all of them. They look similar, but they're not. So this first one is Mind Games. This will be a beautiful like brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight. So then the second one is Magmatic. This one is Transform. And then this one is Or. So those are the four shimmers. There's another one is called Rock On, and it's like a matte shade with glitter in it. I mean, we get those a lot in some of the ColourPop palettes, so I'm not gonna go ahead and swatch that. Let me wipe these off and we'll swatch the pressed glitters. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> these pressed glitters, um, hello? So this first one is Crystal Cave. Can, I don't know if it's picking up. This has like the silver to red gold shift. I just, I don't think it's doing it justice on camera. Then this one is Get Clarity. And this one has like silver eyeshadow with gold glitter is what it looks like. And then this third one is Karana. And this has silver glitter with green and pink and teal. Like these I just wanna swatch right here for you. Oh, you guys. Now, I'm not sure which one I wanna play around with. I kinda of wanna play with this one cause it kinda of looks like it's rose gold with gold glitter now that it's swatched. Okay, you guys, now that we've gotten those swatched and out of the way, let's dive into this eyeshadow palette, get some shades put down, and then one of these pressed glitters is gonna end up on my eyeballs. Okay, so I'm thinking this shade in the zone, I wanna put that into the crease. I'm probably not gonna use the shimmers that are in this palette because I really, really, really wanna use a pressed glitter. So what's crazy is usually like some of, sometimes the ColourPop eyeshadows, they'll fluff everywhere. This isn't necessarily doing that, which is nice. It's a little, it's pressed a little bit harder than I'm used to, which is nice. Um, Cause then it doesn't really make a mess everywhere. Ooh, this will be a pretty shade for work. These are the shades that I gravitate towards for work because I can wear it in uniform and it's neutral, it doesn't distract, it's just light and subtle and airy. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do in the crease. And then I wanna go into this shade, Granite Access, and the outer V and put that into the crease as well just to kind of build. Oh, this one's not fluffing everywhere either. That's nice. I think I'm gonna take this one a little more into the center. Okay, and then I wanna go into this shade Opaque, which is kind of a blue, bluish teal. 
the given would be if I used rock on, but I kind of want to stick with the blue and give it a little bit of a different dimension. This one has a little fallout. It's not too bad though. Oh, I like the smokiness on this and it's pretty because it's a little more on like the bluish side than a black. I still have a little bit of the tan on the outside, but I'm gonna add a little bit more back in. And I feel like there's a weird patch right there, so let me see. I think I focused more right here and here, and I just didn't get the center, so that's probably my fault. Quick and subtle, and that was really the easiest blending I've ever had. I'll probably put more of those more tan taupey shades on the exterior once I get this eyeball done. Okay, so I think for this, I wanna use the one Crystal Cave just to give it some lightness to it. I did wanna use the shade Get Clarity, which was that kind of like rose gold type of shade, but I don't want this to be like super dark. Mm, you guys, that is really pretty. That's really, really concentrated. I may not have needed as much as I put down. So I'm gonna use my middle finger to just kind of disperse some of it. I'm gonna use the brush that had the darker shade, the teal kind of. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go do this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back so we can finish off this eye look. And I'm thinking that I wanna stick with the darker shades. So we'll go into Granite Access and drag that all the way under, and then we'll go back into the shade Opaque in the outer V and drag it under. Now I was just trying to build this up, make it a little bit darker. So I like where it's at right now. Now going into opaque, back on my smudger. I'm gonna put this in the outer V, deepen that up a little bit. Just gives us back that angle a little bit. Now to do the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna play with this shade Mind Games and put that right here and then the brow bone. Ooh, that is so icy and pretty. Ooh, you guys, this palette, I really like it. And the teal is surprising. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, eyeliner, and mascara, and I'll be right back because we do have three lip products. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm digging this eye look as per usual. I know, I, I say it every single time. But there are three lippy sticks in this collection. And I'll be honest, when I was looking at this collection and I saw the eyeshadow palette, the pressed glitters, I was like, ooh, okay, those are the ones I want. But it was actually more affordable to buy the three lippy sticks with it. Did I need them? No. But I swatched the shades, you guys, and they're the shades that I gravitate towards, plus they're perfect for winter. Like, especially this red shade right here. There are these three shades. This first one is Chakra Wave. This one right here, the lightest shade, which is definitely a shade that I gravitate towards. It does look a little more orange than pink, but it is still a shade that I gravitate towards. The middle shade is best intentions. And then the third shade is energy field. And that shade is stunning. Now I kind of want to use best intentions, which is the dark, like it's not the darkest shade. It's not the lightest shade. It's the mid grade. It feels creamy. I mean, that's a look right there. Okay, you guys, this shade, it feels great on the lips. And I love the lippy sticks because of how they're shaped. Like it's just so easy to get that precise lip. I don't know, it feels great on the lips. It's just 
It's not over drying and it's a really pretty shade. I will probably be using this a lot this winter. Don't mind that. I was testing to see if they dry down. They didn't. Okay, you guys. So I really like this lip. I will probably wear a lot during the holidays. It's not red. It's not pink. It's just kind of like that in between. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like this lip with this eye look? I know I haven't been doing a lot of like bold eye looks with bold lips, but I, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. Let me know, put it down below. I'm interested to know your comments and your thoughts on this collection. Are you planning on picking it up? Is it not anything that you were looking at? Maybe you wanna pick up the pressed glitters, which were kind of interesting actually. Like they're not really super shock shadows, but they're not glitterly obsessed. So I feel like they're interesting. And there was some really pretty color payoff with the shades. Um, this one, like I'm digging the shade which was Crystal Cave. It's kind of like that champagne-y shade, but it has like an interesting shift to it. Okay, you guys, I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think of this collection? I mean, it's not a huge collection. There's the eyeshadow palette of Quartz, which has, you know, nine different shades. I also, I'm not sure if I have these in other ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna have to look. But I do like these shades right here because I can definitely wear them to work just by themselves and then maybe use some of these shimmer shades that are like not overly glitter. And then the pressed glitters, you guys, I was really surprised. They're not really super shock shadows, but they're not the glitterly obsessed. But I like them because there's a good color payoff. They're easy to contain. They're not like super messy, which is nice. And I like these because they kind of actually magnetize together. So that's actually a neat concept. I don't know, are you guys planning on picking these up? Do you wear glitter? Now, the three lippy sticks. I don't know that I necessarily needed more lippy sticks, but the shades that this collection had, I really like. So I will probably just pack these for my travel this winter down to Florida to see some family, because I feel like these are the shades that I'm gonna be using a lot. It did dry down, there is a little transfer, but I love that I can get a lipstick or a lippy stick that's gonna dry down and then not smear everywhere. Especially when you're eating and drinking and talking to friends, like you don't wanna have to worry about reapplying your makeup. I do like that for the lippy sticks and they're pretty affordable. Now you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.